Here is Ozonia, 11 Plutonia-ish maps by Deadwing. Uh, still something of a work in progress, but it's going to be the next series in the, uh, the, uh, what's the first one? Moonblood and Exomoon series. Let's give it a shot and hurt me plenty. Map one is Renaskido. 55, 2, and 63. Uh, 1, 1, Renoski. I don't know, what language is that? I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it means reborn in some romance language or another. Deadwing has become one of my favorite mappers based on uh, Exomoon. So we'll see what happens in this. Certainly has a dead wing feel. Dead. Hey, he was the one who was almost dead. There we go. I'm on Geo Boom Plus, by the way. 55, 2, and 63. Deadwing's maps were nice visually, but they weren't going to blow you away. In fact, they are often, uh, I mean, you look at them geometrically and they're like insane. They're like incredible. But then you just look at them just purely aesthetically and you're like, eh, eh. Like this uh, dark rock going all the way around. That's actually not too bad. There are certainly worse textures you could do that with. But here, you know, this pretty basic brick all the way throughout this whole area. Things like that. I mean, I don't... Still an excellent... Still an excellent mapper, in my opinion. But, uh... You know, that would be one way to really take the next step, I guess. But what really makes Deadwing unique, I think, is um, just the way that the combat is so engaging. It's like every enemy counts. Every encounter is meaningful. I mean, only 55 monsters, and they're all... It's going to feel like, I'm sure, a lot more than that. The map's going to feel more significant than a 55 monster map. <laughs> I don't have a shotgun yet. I need to get a shotgun. There's one. Well, that might not have been the best idea I've ever had. Okay. There we go. That works. There's a lot going on in this map, though. That's a multiple time lift somewhere over there. Okay.
lot of rocket action. Oh, he was closer to dead than that. Oh no, that was this one who I killed. Huh. Alright, so there's a blue door. Yeah, I mean, in here, this whole room is this same brick all the way around. But, I mean, you look at it geometrically and everything, it's like, wow, this is a nice map. So... I don't know what just happened there. Nukage certainly plays a big role in this map. That's a secret! What's down here? Nothing. <laughs> Damage. Oh, I made it. Good for me. Didn't even kill him. Super shotgun, that's nice. I'm just gonna grab one, there's no way I'm coming back for that. Gonna lower the blue key. Oh my. Uh oh. I can get the blue key. Gotta try to remember where to use it. There it is. Hmm. I guess I'll just leave the Revenant alone. Got two out of two secrets now. Here's my blue door. Get a save going just for good measure. Oh, come on.
Hm, uh, znaky. The red key. It's from that close. Alright, try this again. Where that cat can even go? Okay. Teleporter? Oh, we're done. Okay. So yeah, uh, certainly reminds me of Exo Moon, uh, just in the overall style. The very meaningful encounters, you know, every enemy is going to make you work to kill them, basically. Um, we're not wasting any time, you know, this wasn't like a filler map at all, we're jumping right into it. 11 minutes long, uh, plenty of mid-tier monsters and everything. So yeah, just very enjoyable. Um, you know, Deadwing's more of a gameplay experience mapper. Certainly great uh, flow and layout and geometry and all that, uh, but as usual, um, just a little bit monotonous with the texturing. Uh, and and usually the textures aren't ones that are stock Doom textures, so it really doesn't look bad. It's just that it's not going to blow you away from an aesthetic standpoint. But yeah, great map as you would expect from, from uh, Deadwing. 